Welcome to Herbally Yours, an adventure into the world of natural medicine. Here is your host, Dr. Ellen Kamai, the natural nurse who will help you take the leap to ultimate wellness. And greetings. Thank you so much for joining me today, Ellen Kamai, the natural nurse, for another edition of Herbally Yours, right here on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Herbally Yours brings you the latest information about the many facets in the world of natural living. Today, I am so happy to have on board another natural nurse, Betsy Babakuti. She is an RN, a holistic registered nurse, an integrative nutrition health coach, Reiki healer, and ama therapist. She is a licensed nurse and holds certifications in both holistic nursing and integrative nutrition health coaching, as well as a Bachelor of Science in Psych from Stony Brook University. While working as a psychiatric nurse, Betsy was very drawn to holistic medicine, and she believes in treating a person as a whole through integration of the body, mind, and spirit. She followed her passion and studied at the New York College of Health Professionals, where she learned traditional Chinese medicine and ametherapy and became certified as a holistic registered nurse. She then went on to become certified in Reiki and raindrop treatment, utilizing her calming energy and love for essential oils and aromatherapy. You can find Nurse Betsy on Facebook.com backslash Betsy Holistic RN and other places on the web as well. Thank you so much for joining us today, Betsy. Hi, Ellen. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I found you, um, I think it was on Facebook, yes. because you had amazing posts all the time about oh, thank all you so kinds much. of natural things that people can easily integrate into their life. Yes, yes, I've worked very hard on my Facebook page, and uh, yeah, I've been doing that since about 2011 now. Now, when you say RN, you must have more letters after your name than that. Um, yeah, so I have a, an, a registered nurse, uh, you know, a registered nurse, also a bachelor, a bachelor of science in psychology, and also um, an integrative nutrition health coach. So it's okay. Now, when you say you're a certified nutrition nurse, do you have anything from the American Holistic Nurses Association? Not from the American, uh, no. Um, okay. As a holistic nurse certified through the New York College of Health Professions. Okay, but that, because I know I've worked with them and I'm actually an instructor at that college. Oh, okay. Um, yes, from taking that course, just so you know, you actually can join the American Holistic Nurses Association oh, okay. and use all the coursework you did there to become a certified holistic nurse. Oh, okay. And, and that is a highly recognized certification and even mm-hmm. is considered a nurse specialist certification, yeah. which also leads to higher pay as well as more recognition in holistic medicine. So you're actually there already. We yeah. can talk about at some point about how you just go ahead and, and move forward with that. You have so much training. Yeah. What made you originally want to be a nurse? So, actually, when I was in high school, I actually was never into medicine or anything like that. My parents actually pushed me into, you know, they said go into medical school. Um, I actually wanted to be a fashion designer. I know, very, very different. Um, but they said go to medical school. You know, the medical career is much more stable. So I decided, um, I went to Stony Brook, I decided to do medicine, and then something stirred me toward more towards nursing. Um, so once I became a nurse... Um, I actually wanted to do something more natural because I'm my background is from you know I'm from India, so we follow you know Ayurveda, um, natural medicine, um, you know I'm always been into healthy eating and things like that. So I was always torn, uh, drawn towards the holistic side of nursing. Um, so I've been a nurse for 13 years now, um, and I've been certified as a holistic nurse for about nine of those years. Um, and I started out doing working in the psychiatric um, part of the hospital, which is almost kind of like a revolving door syndrome where you have chronically ill patients, you know, who are frequently readmitted. So I just kept thinking to myself, you know, these patients keep coming back, and I knew that their eating habits and their lifestyle played, you know, a major role in that. Um, and you know, also me having a background, an Indian background, and having you know being drawn to Ayurveda and healthy living, I just decided, you know, my passion was always in holistic nursing. 
so that's when I decided to go back to school for um, to the New York College of Health Professions, where they taught holistic um, nursing and you know based around the principles of traditional Chinese medicine, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. And and you must have been uh, you didn't become an acupuncturist though, but that's another no, not an acupuncturist, but they but they did teach ama therapy there, which is very similar to acupuncture. Um, they used the same meridians of the of the body and using circular pressure around those uh, the same points on the you know the meridians of the body. So it's very similar to acupuncture. So we it was two years of um, you know clinical work in that. Yeah, it's a, it really a wonderful progression of education and sharing. Yeah have done and on your Facebook page at Betsy Holistic RN um, you have so much great information all the time yeah, and I, I love, also I lo- saw a, quest- a picture of you with Dr. Oz in fact yes I met Dr. Oz actually in 2016 it's always been a dream of mine he's always been very like you know inspirational to me um, and I made a little vision board actually one day and I put a picture of Dr. Oz on it um, saying you know I want to meet Dr. Oz one day and then one day they just decided to have like a a show just, you know, inviting all the ner- all the nurses along. Um, and I got an invitation to come, you know, meet him after the show. So it was perfect. Yeah, so it's I a got great to meet picture him, yeah. of you. Oh, so thank you. That's interesting in terms of a yeah. body-mind technique um, when yeah. you're talking about a vision board. And I'm so very this is into a that. nurse talking about a vision board. <laughs> Why don't you t- That's great. I love that. What Tell us about a vision board. So basically, a vision board is a vision of you know what you envision for your life. Um, anything from people you want to meet to things you want to do in your life. I just I actually have it on Pinterest. I don't even have an actual board in my room. It's just on Pinterest, and I just pin things as I see it, as you know things I want to manifest into my life. And um, slowly but surely, you know, you just kind of have to believe that things will happen. You just don't worry about it too much. You you know you pin it. You believe that it's going to happen, and it'll somehow come you know manifest into your life and I'm, I'm a big believer of that and also by pinning it whether we do it the old-fashioned way if we're old like me but <laughs> we actually have it on a piece of oak tag or a board yeah. physically or like you're doing because you're a younger person who's you know tuned into yeah, either, that either way is fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's still that you have that picture and it's there so that implants the vision yes, in your exactly. mind yes, and then exactly. you don't have to really sit and focus on it it's just you can visit that image and it does often manifest into reality yeah it really does you just have to really want that and you have to really feel it and just you know it's solely but surely every single thing has solely been coming into my life like I manifest the holistic you know all these things that I've wanted to do throughout my life just wanting to become a holistic nurse and then a health coach wanting to meet Dr. Oz everything just you know slowly just happens it's amazing and you are actually at a place now called Replenish Health in Huntington yes so tell us about that so I rec- I just started working there recently, <clears throat> a few months ago. Um, it's actually located in Huntington. I don't know if you've, uh, if you're familiar with Huntington. Oh, oh very. I live right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. So it's on 700 New York uh, Boulevard, New York Avenue. Sorry. Um, so I've been there for a few months now. Um, it is a integrative uh, wellness center and a medical spa. And they specialize in, um, you know, conven- it incorporates con- conventional, functional, holistic, and aesthetic medicine all in one place. Um, and they offer, you know, we offer IV vitamin infusions, genetic testing. Um, we have uh, an infrared sauna pod. We do facials, acupuncture, different holistic therapies. There's so much going on there. It's just everything in one place. So it's amazing. And everything is performed by medical professionals. Yes, and I worked at a holistic center uh, with mm-hmm. Dr. Serafina Corsello, which was also in Huntington, very near that location, okay. and I was the head nurse there for 25 oh, wow. years. Wow, that's and amazing. that was back in the late 70s and 80s, so um, Huntington's always been that kind of place, and yeah, that was the same idea. We did IV therapy and a whole vast array of integrative practices all under one roof, which that's is amazing. so ideal. Because it that is. way you can, you know, visit one person and another one. And we used to have a meeting once a week where we discuss the clients and see how they're moving along. So that's a perfect boy. They're ha- they're lucky to find you. 
Yes, that was another thing I, I manifested into my life. I found that place actually on Instagram, and then I just kept thinking to myself, this would be such an amazing place to work. It's everything under one roof. And I put that on my vision board, too, and it somehow came into my life. Well, it's not somehow, though. Yes. Not somehow. No, not somehow. I somehow made it happen, but... Yeah, and it's because of the huge amount of work that you have done. And oh, I'd like to you. remind our listeners that we are listening today to Herbally Yours, and we're talking with our guest, Be- uh, Betsy Babakuti. A um, little difficult to pronounce your last name, so we'll call you <laughs> Nurse no, you did, Betsy. You did perfect. And you can find her at facebook.com slash Betsy holistic or n and so that is so true i speak to so many people who would like to have a career in natural medicine Mm -hmm. so nurses and others and you also are certified as an esthetician which i think is a fabulous entry position to do holistic because you can use all organic products. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm very into using, I'm very into skincare and beauty and things like that. And I use all organic and natural skincare products, products. So I'm a big believer in that. So I incorporate that into my practice also. So I recommend, even on my page, you know, I'm always recommending beauty and um, beauty products, um, organic and things like that. Now, why would you do that? What's wrong with like just all regular old beauty products? You now, regular products contain so many chemicals, and what people don't realize is that whatever we're putting on our skin um, is absorbed into our bloodstream. You know, we just kind of unknowingly, without even looking at the ingredients, we just slap on things onto our face, and all these things are going into our body. You know, whatever is in that product, where whether it's you know mercury or aluminum, whatever it is, there's a lot of parabens, things like that. You have to be very careful because these things are getting absorbed into our bodies, so it's very important to use things that are natural and organic. And I always point out, if people go, what? It doesn't go through your skin. Excuse me, if you think it about, does. let's say, yeah. sweating, stuff comes out through your skin, exactly. right? There's little holes there. Through exactly. those same holes, anything that's on your skin also can, can enter your, your body. Yeah, and what exactly. about the fact that in conventional medicine, which, of course, Nurse Bet- Betsy is fully trained in, we use things like estrogen patches, uh, smoking patches. Yes, those exactly. Those all go right through the skin. Yes, exactly. Things that are transdermal are being absorbed right into your skin, but we don't really think about that when we're using skincare products or makeup or things like that. So it's very important. So that's something that I try to teach on my page and, you know, I try to teach my clients. And it's so informative. You give so many wonderful health tips. And being a nurse, you know, nurses and pharmacists are the most trusted health professionals in the United States, more so than doctors, actually. Yeah, very much. I mean, I you know we have the time to teach, so why not you know take the time to because people education is a big thing. People need to you know they want to learn, and you know I'm uh, glad that I had the opportunity to to do all the teaching. Yes, very much so, and and people are lucky who can find you, and you're right here on Long oh, Island. Thank you. Yeah. Now. What other um, practices do you do, perhaps for private clients, in terms of, you know, your integrative health coach practice and all the modalities that you offer? So, um, yeah, so aside from the health coaching, I also do three different um, healing modalities. One of them is the AMA therapy that I spoke about earlier. Um, so that's very similar to acupuncture, but without the needles. So people who don't like needles, it's just, you're re- getting the same benefit. Um, it's a specialized form of body work that branches out from you know ancient Chinese medicine. It involves like circular pressure over the acupuncture meridians of the body. Um, it stimulates the movement of qi, which is energy, and it re- removes any blockages in order to restore energy. So it brings the body back to a state where you know the body is able to heal itself. Um, it also treats you know, a wide variety of conditions, it, um, stress, anxiety, depression, pain, sleep, pa- you know, improved sleep patterns, it boosts circulation and immunity. Um, and I also do something called Reiki, which is a form of energy medicine or hands-on uh, therapy where energy is transferred from the practitioner to the patient um, and it restores balance to the body and it brings healing. It also reduces pain, uh, stress. Um, it clears emotional and physical trauma, uh, promotes sleep, and just helps you, you know, leaves you feeling a sense of calm and inner peace. 
And it is a wonderful, one. wonderful technique. And I was yeah. friends with Mrs. Sohn, who is okay. the developer of that technique. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I knew her very well. Um, and our kids played together because they lived in this oh. big, giant, I guess, a commune kind of place, which was a mansion right on the corner of 25A and 106. So okay. I'm very familiar with that technique. And it's excellent that you're bringing it forward yes. to clients that work with you now. Yeah, Dr. Oz is actually, um, he incorporates that at the hospital. So that a lot of the nurses do that for the patients before they go off to surgery to kind of, you know, help them relax, you know, before surgery. He was totally a forerunner who has been involved yeah. in um, inviting the use of natural therapies. Why? Because they are safe and effective. That's why on a, yes, on a exactly. medical That's level. That's exactly why. So we're going to take a little break right here, Nurse Betsy, and I'd like to remind you listeners, you are listening to Herbally Yours on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Listen live online at nccradio.org or on iHeartRadio. For more information on today's guest or topic, email us at whpc at ncc.edu. Stay tuned. Herbally Yours will be right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Flace with today's tip for kids from the American Academy of Pediatrics. How often does your child say, I'm thirsty? For kids, what they drink can be almost as important as what they eat in terms of a healthy diet. I recommend milk with most meals and water in between. A small amount of 100% juice once a day is okay, but save sugary beverages for special occasions. For more information about nutrition, visit HealthyChildren.org or talk with your pediatrician. Hi, I'm Dr. Melinda Dunn with the American Academy of Family Physicians with important information on concussions. Concussions can happen to anyone during any physical activity, and you don't have to get hit in the head or lose consciousness to have a concussion. If you suspect a concussion, don't let your child return to the game until they've been medically cleared. With concussions, prevention is key, and safety should always be the first priority. For more on concussions, visit FamilyDoctor.org or talk with your family physician. And welcome back to more right here on Herbally Yours. Thank you for joining us. You can always find me at naturalnurse.com. And today we have as our guest another natural nurse. And her name is Betsy Babakudi. And you can find Nurse Betsy, who is a holistic registered nurse, an integrative nutrition health coach, a Reiki healer, and ama therapist, and has years of training. Um, she also is now working at a local place for your you Long Island listeners. So, you know, that's a, a very exciting development. It's called Replenish Health in Huntington. So, Nurse Betsy, how do you feel about the use of IV therapies? I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the best ways to incorporate, you know, get vitamins into the body. Um, a lot of times, you know, we, we're home, we're taking all these synthetic vitamins, and we don't even realize that it's doing more harm than good. Um, for example, Centrum, horrible. I know a lot of people still take Centrum. Um, it's just synthetic vitamins, and it's just ta- like taking chemicals into the body, and it's not really being even absorbed. Okay, um, well, we don't really like to mention actual names, but since okay. you did, we'll just, we'll just call it the big C. <laughs> um, I invite people to read the label of the ingredients. Yeah. That's what you were talking about earlier, Nurse exactly. Betsy, in terms yeah. of the skin care. Mm-hmm. If you read the label on most commercially available vitamin products, it actually has words on it with proven cancer-causing agents, yeah. such as talc. That's all in the news lately. That's actually in the vitamin pill. Red yeah. dye, yellow dye number five, blue dye, as well as the worst form of each nutrient. For instance, the vitamin E will be D L tocopherol, which is an artificial vitamin E that actually destroys cell membranes instead of supporting their health. So there's a lot to know before you just pop those commercial vitamin pills. Exactly. You want to make sure that you're not taking any synthetic vitamins and they're actually made from whole food. And I didn't know this back in the day when I was, you know, I thought I was doing doing myself good by taking all these uh, vitamins, and I'd never really read the ingredients. So it's very important to read the back, the label, and see what exactly you're taking. 
and make sure that they're made from whole foods. Now, tell us more about an integrative nutritionally based health coach, which you also are. Yes. So after I became a holistic nurse, I wanted to, you know, learn more about nutrition and health coaching. So I went back to to school. Um, it's called the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and it's located in Manhattan. It was actually an online program. Um, so I decided to do that. So basically what a health coach is, is, you know, they're a supportive mentor, and they help clients to get healthy using nutrition and life, lifestyle changes that, you know, meet their needs and health goals. Um, the whole principle is that relationships, exercise, career, spirituality, everything is just is just as important to our health as the food we eat. So just like a holistic nurse, they are focusing on the person as a whole. And it's such good information because also all of the therapies that you're involved with are very focused on the individual rather than just people in general. Yes, exactly. That's the whole principle behind holistic nursing. You know, it's defined as um, a nursing practice that has uh, healing the whole person as its goal. So um, you, you want to, you know, in- integrate the mind, body, and spirit when you're treating somebody and not just looking at the symptom. Because, you know, Florence Nightingale, who is considered the founder of holistic nursing, she's the one who taught, you know, that holistic nursing should be focusing on the principles of holism, which is unity, wellness, and the interrelationship of human beings and their environment. So as a holistic nurse, we're treating the whole person, not just looking at individual symptoms. Yeah, I am totally a big fan of um, Florence Nightingale, yeah. and most people recognize her name. And of course, she wouldn't have called it holistic; she just called it nursing because she's nursing, the one who, exactly. you know, who developed that concept of removing the obstacles to healing. She was a total believer in cleanliness and food and quiet. By the yeah. way, that was one of her big therapeutic agents, oh, yeah. which would be like internal meditation, turning off that monkey mind. So yeah. while she didn't have the vocabulary we have now, um, you know, she actually instituted those therapeutics and had measurable healing effects. Yes, exactly. She's amazing. And she's like, yeah, definitely one of the people, that, you know, the pioneers of holistic nursing. So definitely look, at, look up to her. Now, you are listening to Herbally Yours on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Ellen Kamai, the natural nurse, and my guest today is Nurse Betsy, and you can find her at Facebook.com, Betsy Holistic RN. That's a really good place to find her, and wonderful, wonderful. You could, what is it, like or friend or whatever it is there. <laughs> follow. One of those yeah. things. Yeah, follow. Or and like, and yeah. you also must have an Instagram account also. That's I Betsy do, yes. One. Is it a one? Um, it's Bet- Betsy.RN. So it's Instagram.com oh. slash Betsy.RN. Okay, so that's another great place to see a lot of your posts. Now, what are some of the healthy habits that you yourself use? So one of the biggest things I developed this year was daily juicing. Um, I was never, I always juice here and there, but I found that consistent juicing is such an important thing for for your health. And something that I started doing this year was um, I started drinking celery juice every single morning. Um, so I've been doing this for about six months now, and I don't know if you follow Anthony William. He's known as the medical medium, uh, and a lot of people are around the world are you know following him. He started the whole uh, global juice, global celery juice movement, um, and so celery juice has been just amazing. I, I wish I had done started earlier, but you know I always juice before celery, cucumber, things like that, but never celery alone, and it's done wonders for my body. Um, celery juices, you know, contains like sodium cluster salt, vitamins, minerals. It also has, you know, water and electrolytes to prevent dehydration. Um, if you have any skin issues like uh, acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, it helps to um, clear all that. It lowers your blood pressure. It decreases inflammation. It also helps if you have any autoimmune disorders. Uh, it gives you better digestion. It helps you lose weight, increases your energy, and it also eliminates any need for ca- caffeine because I know sometimes I needed that coffee in the morning, but I've noticed since I started drinking celery juice, I haven't touched coffee actually in months. So, but now, the how, do you cre- how do you make the celery juice? And also, are you making sure to use organic celery? Yes, definitely. I use organic celery. That's very important because you want to eliminate, you know, you don't want any of the pesticides. Um, and if you, do, if you can't find organic, you want to make sure you wash the celery well. 
Um, so to make the celery juice, basically you can use a juicer or a blender. If you're using a juicer, you wash one bunch of celery, um, organic, and then you run it through a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, you can use a blender. So you just chop up the celery first, you blend it well, and then you just strain it using a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag. And then every morning you want to drink 16 ounces, which is about two cups. Um, just straight, nothing added. Um, so on an empty stomach, before you eat anything, you know, in the morning, for, before you brush your teeth, that's the first thing you should be doing, drinking the celery juice straight, um, and then wait 15 to 20 minutes before you eat or drink anything else. And it's just amazing. I can't even tell you how many, it's just the best thing I decided to do, like, for my health, I think. Well, that's a, that's a wonderful suggestion, and it's also super easy, yes, it which is, is yes. supportive. They don't have to make a whole combination and things like that. Exactly, yes. And I actually do like using a NutriBullet, which is more on the end of a, of, of a um, yeah, that's, that's a great one, blender, yeah. but it's so easy in terms of the cleanup because I have every kind of juicer. I've been juicing for over 50 years, oh, okay? Oh, wow, that's amazing. 50 years, more than 50 years. And I have every kind of juicer, you know, Champions, Acme, every kind you could imagine. Yeah. And really, the NutriBullet has been one of my favorite, which is more on the end of like what nurse... Betsy just shared of being a blender, but you know what? It has the easiest cleanup, and so that helps people to stay with it. Yes, exactly. Vitamix also, is also another one that I like. I have one of those too. Yep, <laughs> I, <love it. laughs> I have everything. I'm, I'm like a, a, a one of my habits is collecting juicers because I've been so involved in juicing. I learned that from Dr. Bernard Jensen, and you know, way back when. And yes, very, very useful, and you know, a real simple thing. And it's wonderful to hear because you already were healthy to begin with. That yet you feel that that's a very worthwhile yeah, intervention. Definitely. Yes, if someone wants to, you know, get healthy and they're not eating enough vegetables or even drinking enough water, this is some an easy thing that they can do every morning. And and really appropriate for you know warm weather as well. And in the winter, yes, you exactly. can do it as you can warm it too and make it a little bit like a make um, it like a soup, yeah, yeah, like a vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. So tell us the best way to get in touch with you, Nurse Betsy. So I have an email address. It's Betsy R N number one at gmail dot com. So you can email me. You can uh, my Facebook page. That's one of the best ways also to get in touch with me. Uh, Facebook.com slash Betsy Holistic RN. Um, my Instagram page. Um, I have to, I'm all over social media, so you can find me almost anywhere. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, email. Um, I also have an Amazon page where um, all these all the recommended beauty and health products. I have it on that page. So if you want to see all these products, you just go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Betsy Holistic RN. And those are things that you just recommend through you yes. checking labels and you trying like you yes, discussed exactly. with us. Yes, exactly. Things that I try and that I like myself and that I use, I recommend it to people. So they always ask, people always ask me, where can I find all your, the products that you recommend? So it's all under on one, on one page. That's really helpful because I yes. know you've been spending years looking into yes, what I works have. best for people and um, from a nursing and evidence-based perspective, as well as honoring the energy essence of, you know, the holistic aspect. So very unusual to have someone like you. Thank and you. I actually, you know, feel like you're my nurse sister in oh, holistic medicine. You, and I love that you are young, you are beautiful, and you have thank such you. a strong background and training and you'll be bringing this message to many for decades to come so thank you, thank you so, much. so much for being our guest today thank on you. herbally yours and thank you listeners for tuning in once again to herbally yours produced in the studios of 90.3 whpc nassau community college garden city new york for further information, email whpc at ncc.edu. This is your host, Ellen Kamai, at naturalnurse.com, inviting you to join us next week for another edition of Herbally Yours. Until then, stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs>